Is it time to buy or sell Google stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Google. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, July 21, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since July 19, 2023, our system has ranked Google as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 2.67. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 1.65%. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.55% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the lower part of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $117.42 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 12.2% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 9.77% and 25.98%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 11.78% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 13.33% and 20.14%. This translates to a price range of $104.02 to $144.19 after a year. Our latest daily update for Google includes the headline, Google Stock Upgraded to Sell Candidate. The Google stock price gained 0.688% on the last trading day, Friday, July 21, 2023, rising from $119.20 to $120.02. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.9% from a day low at $118.73 to a day high of $120.99. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 0.45% gain for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 31 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 68 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $8.20 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $129.04, and the lowest price was $83.34. Currently, the price is 6.99%, or $9.02, below the 52-week high, and 95.1%, or $2,328.90, below the all-time high on June 14, 2021, when the price reached $2,448.92. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Loop Capital Markets set a price target of 125. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Loop Capital Markets set a price target of 125. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Barclays set a price target of 160. On Friday, February 3, 2023, JP Morgan set a price target of 118. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Truist Financial set a price target of 120. Analysts have given Google stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Google. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Google stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On corrections up, 
there will be some resistance from the lines at $122.80 and $121.90. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, June 6, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 5.73%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 32 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 10 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 4 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 90 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 85 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Google Google finds support from accumulated volume at $116.57 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the stock moved $2.26, 1.9%, between high and low. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.67%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Google, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 23, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Google. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Google is at $122.50. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Google encounters its first support level at $116.57. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Google from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Sriram Kavitark Ram, who bought and sold 32,798 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 67.981. Overall, Insiders purchased 253,875 shares and sold 1,387,817 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Google stock a good buy? The Google stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Google will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a strong sell to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Monday, July 24th, we expect Google to open down $0.107 and start trading at $119.91. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions.
This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.